What's going on, guys? Got another Comic Call Thursday review coming at you. I'm doing a little trio of stuff here. Got about three comic issues I'm going to do real quick, so let's dive right in. Fourth one's going to be Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood, because, of course, it is. So the first story, there are about three little stories in here. First story, Anubis Rex. Uh, I'll give you a little preview exactly like what it sort of looks like right here. Uh, artwork was a little bit hard for me to follow, not going to lie. I'm not sure if that's just me. It wasn't uh, bad or anything. It was really well done. and kind of reminded me of like Jet Set Radio Future, if any of y'all ever played that game. Kind of reminded me of what that would probably look like as like a comic because, you know, the the covers for the video games were real like sharp and had a lot of like crazy lines and a lot of ink and stuff in them. So uh, the artwork wasn't bad, just kind of hard for me to follow. Like, I kind of couldn't really tell what was going on unless everything was more like in red. But it was kind of cool, you know, um, Moon Knight's hunting scarabs and, you know, there's like this funny interplay between her and like this kid and everything. So it was kind of cool. And, you know, the whole thing with the dog was like really hilarious. That was a cool futuristic story, you know, like post-apocalyptic type stuff. So I don't really complain about that was art. So then we got the second story, So White Yet So Dark. And just this artwork is just smooth and it's clean it flows really really well like it almost looked like like water i guess like it just flowed really really well it was really smooth this story was hilarious the interplay between spider-man and moon knight was awesome just the way the whole story started was just hilarious the concept was really cool you know i feel like this would have been like a really good kind of full issue that kind of wanted more of this story to know like more was kind of going on but it was really, really awesome, really funny, good action. You know, we got to see, you know, the black Moon Knight suit, which I love. Oh, my God, like, it's amazing. If we ever see that in live action, it'll be awesome. Got to see that. Like, they have, like, a Tom Holland Spider-Man suit going on here, which is really cool. But this is just a really, like, small self-contained story. There's, like, ghost fights and, you know, like, Deadpool appears and stuff. So I thought that was just hilarious and great. I feel like this should have been, like, a full kind of issue of stuff. And so this uh, last story right here, the end, I was so confused because if you read it, you know, the artwork, well, let me talk about the artwork. The artwork looks a little more, it kind of reminds me of Sin City, you know, the Sin City comics and everything, how, you know, everything was like pretty devoid of like most color and how it looked, you know, kind of more gritty and stuff like that. So the artwork was really, really cool, like really gritty really sharp and everything but i was so confused in reading like i actually like skipped ahead a couple of pages I'm like is this in reverse because like i read something about it kind of being in reverse but i was so confused because it like the first two pages were cool and then i'm like okay hold on like what's going on here so the the quote at the end was really cool once you like look at the story and really read it and everything it actually was kind of a pretty cool way to story tell it uh kind of like, like tenet if any of y'all ever seen that it was really a cool way to tell the story, like everything going on, you know, Moon Knight going from Mr. Knight to the Moon Knight suit and everything that was going on in the comedy. It was really cool. I feel like this would have been like a really good full issue type thing as well, just to flesh out more stuff. But, you know, it was still really awesome anyway. You know, Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood. There's that review right there. Definitely going to check it out. Now, the next comic I'm going to be reviewing is Grimm. And I actually saw this when I was getting my comics off the shelves and I didn't pick it up. The only thing that really caught my eye was this cover. Like, this camera does not do it justice. This cover is uh, beautiful. It was pure beauty. And so when I got to the counter, I uh, asked what was you know, what it was about. It was actually recommended by one of the like staff members and stuff. So it was like, it's about, you know, this girl who's a reaper and she loses her scythe and he's going to get it back. I'm like, okay, cool. That's really great. So the first thing about it is just the artwork is beautiful. Like... Look at that right there. Those, like the way they blend the blues and the whites and then this panel right here. Like this artwork is just amazing. I'm actually gonna skip ahead to another page. Like look at this right here. This artwork is just amazing. It's like bright, it's colorful. It's so well contrasting. Like another one of my favorite panels is like right here. You know, that panel right there with all the souls right there. Just the way, like, they, all these scenes in red are, like, my favorite. Because just the way they balance everything out and everything just looks so good. Like, look at this. The way they balance the reds and the blacks and, you know, the skin tones. The artwork for this is superb. You know, props to 
Rico Renzi, Flaviano. I really hope I didn't butcher their names, but this book just looks beautiful. Like, this is an amazingly, amazingly well drawn, well colored book. Like, this is awesome. So, that was that. So, as far as the story goes, it's really interesting. I've never seen like a concept well, like this, you know, before, to my knowledge. There's like more than one reaper. There's one reaper who was like a black dude who was born like the 1800s. There's a dude who looks like a hair metal vocalist. There's a, a guy who looks like a Viking and, you know, their size all look different. Like the Viking guys looks more like a, like a meat cleaver type thing and their size all look different and they shrink and put in their coats. Just like everything that's going on here is just like amazing. You know, the main character has this mystery going on where, you know, she doesn't know how she died and, you know, it's just the whole the whole concept is amazing, you know. And now she goes back to find the guy who took her scythe and, you know, he can't be seen by the living, but she can now. Like, there's just so much stuff going on. I feel like there's a lot of stuff, like, going on that's going to be explained and unpacking. And I'm really loving the way they're telling the story. Like, everything just seems like there's, like, a lot of mystery going on with the main character, the other Reapers, this dead guy who stole the scythe. The leader of whatever the the thing is the fact that she can be seen by living people now like she's got some kind of red skull ghost rider looking face form like everything in here needs to be explained unpack and i'm, I'm really excited to see where this is going because this is like an amazingly cool concept amazingly cool art and amazingly cool story so i'm definitely going to start reading this one monkey for sure and keep up on this one because this one just is awesome and i cannot wait to both see it and just um just look at the art and just read it because this story is going to be great so props to whoever came up with this i mean i don't want to butcher any more names but props to everyone who worked on that comic it's beautiful like beautiful so the third comic and the last comic is going to be jurassic league issue one now when i first saw that this was like coming out i kind of expected it to be like more of a serious comic and it kind of is but it also kind of isn't like Superman or Super Soar was like sent to Earth as a child and taken care of by humans and then you got like Jokerzard which sounds like <laughs> it sounds like the coolest Pokemon ever and you got Wonder Dawn and Black Mantasaurus and there's like it's it's just because there's like it's supposed to be kind of serious but it's also just so funny and campy to me like they have a flashback where um what was a character what was batman's character's name hold on bat walker yeah so batman's character is like bat walker and there's like a flashback where you see like him as a baby dino and his two parents dead and i'm like i couldn't help but laugh because it was just so absurd <laughs> Like, it was just so crazy and so absurd. Like, all these origins, all these different names. Everything that's going on is just... It's hilarious, really. It's hilarious. But it, it was it was really well done. Like, I loved the art style. The art style was... I thought it was going to be more in the vein of this. You know what I mean? But it's, it's a lot smoother. It actually looks pretty well. Like, the colors are really well done in here. They're really bright, really vibrant. The whole book really has just kind of like a a real vibrant look and feel to it like all that stuff right there it's really it's really a pleasure to the eyes everything's like really super vibrant and pretty to look at but it's not like too loud or too bright so they did a really good job balancing the colors in there and like finding the right balance of like different colors to put in there artwork is just great in there um it's just a really fun story i'm definitely interested to see where it goes and you know how it ends is it's only six issues so I'm, I'm very 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 interested to see like you know what's going on here what's going to be the main plot and you know how everything's going to go because it's just crazy it's just <laughs> it's it's just obviously so hilarious like <laughs> Like, I, I like taking it seriously, but it's kind of hard because everything's just so, like, funny and, like, the, these dinosaur names for everybody, and it's, it's just crazy. I love it. It's awesome. I, I'm going to get all six issues of this. This is just insane and crazy and funny and great, and this, this is definitely going to be, like, a, one of the most fun, like, series that DC is probably going to put out this year. Just, like, pure fun, great colors. 
probably gonna be a lot of puns worked in there and a bunch of other crazy stuff but i'm all here for it i love it so that's the my comic review for this week my comic call definitely go check it out um i picked up an omnibus of batman white knight currently reading that so i'll probably upload a video review of that as well i know i'm late on that but i picked it up and i i read it in like one go almost pretty much it's just a really awesome story really great art so probably be doing a review on that sometime later this week or next week as well and of course there'll be a new comic call thursday next week thank you all so much for watching if you like this you can like comment subscribe and keep reading